Okay. Uh, I was like, why is my controller working? But there we go. Not that good at dodging. Come on, auto heal activate. Oh, what? How long range is that guy's weapon? Okay, I just need to finish him off. Ooh, that was close. Okay, there we go. Wonder who's gonna be in that pod. Somebody knows? Sure. Don't be another 2B. Yo, what the heck? He just rips him out and throws him. Ah, going after that flight suit. Wonder where he's going to. Got somewhere to be. Said he's gonna kill all the people in there and then take down the tower. I think that'll be a lot of work. <laughs> That's Pascal's voice. Did Pascal become a Koshi? Okay. So that's where Pascal went to. Wish I would have gone back to the village and see if anyone was there. After they were all killed, and I wonder where Pascal went after. She went back to the village, but did I completely wipe all of her memories? I don't know. Can't even see my character. Oh. Wait, where'd he go? He tricked me. I guess it's like a multi stage fight. Okay. What's that? No, not another hacking game. Oh. Damn it. Alert. Enemy hacking detected. Proposal. Retreat immediately. Retreat? I ain't no coward. This is pretty cool being in the hacking oh, world. Good to see you again. Number two. What should we call the way two now? What A2 now? I was just number two before. Those concepts like us, time has little meaning. Still, when we wiped out your forces, it made quite the impression on us. Your attacker model number two. An experimental disposable group created as a test lab for Project Your Heart. Hey, that's who I was part of a disposable unit that was the like, beta test for Yorha. Oh, they're getting more health now. And they're attacking. I'm so confused. Why is that guy such a deep old man voice, but it's all little girl holograms showing up? How do I fight this? I guess one sword swing would probably do the trick for most of them. Uh, just not quite enough damage. Wait, what sword am I using? This is my sword I have equipped. Weapon set. Bare fist. There we go. Now I should be able to one shot them. Virtuous tree. Why is my sword huge though? That doesn't look like the weapon I'm using. What the heck? Am I in my B mode or something? Why am I so fast? Game's getting crazier and crazier by the second. Do they heal or something? Keep going in circles, and then by the time I get back, they're off full health again. Proposal. What now? Utilize the 
the enemy's logical learning function to formulate a weakness. I don't know what that means! This bot has serious concerns about Unit A2's cognitive abilities. Shut up and explain it! So do I gotta like trick him into thinking? Would interrupt the enemy's logic circuits, causing a computational delay. Meaning what? Do not destroy the enemy. Huh? Striking at the logic circuit requires a certain number of enemies to remain extant for a certain period of time. So I just gotta oh, dodge the them? Hell? Okay, I'll just keep running in circles trying to dodge the orbs. So I guess we kind of knew that A2 is like an older model, but so she was like a prototype for the entire Yorha project? Consciousness data saturation rate 30%. And did the machines make Yorha? Because oh, they said that the. It's all so very amazing. They said that Yorha created the Council of Humanity to get all the androids to believe that humans are still alive and that the Yorha people are actually fighting for something. Saturation rate, 60%. Did the machines make Yorha? So the machines pretty much did everything? The androids the human race left behind. Acted as if they wanted to be human. I guess there were androids before humans were extinct. They didn't even want to be alien, they'd rather be human. Individuality is more important than... ...networking. So this is like the top dog machine, even better, bigger and badder than Adam and Eve. The game is getting more and more confusing by the minute. I swear I ran right into one of the orbs, but it didn't deal the- WHAT THE HECK A GIANT ONE! That's creepy! Consciousness data saturation rate, 90%. We are one, and yet we are many. We are finite, and yet we are infinite. How is that possible? Hypothesis. Perfect the enemy has become aware of the diversity of life. Oh, I see it. The light. We move on. Forward. To the future. Okay, have I dodged enough? Consciousness data saturation rate, 100%. Hypothesis. The enemy's consciousness has begun to fracture. Why? Just letting a ton of them appear? But what the heck? Time stopped? What is going on? I'm so confused. We need more evolutionary pressure. If we allow this android to continue living, we can create even more hardship for ourselves. Is that what they're trying to do? Overcoming the crisis this creates will present an opportunity for our kind to evolve even further. So they created the ant, like, started this whole war so this they could evolve further? Dangerous. It must be destroyed immediately. Having internal conflict in the machine? Those who would doubt our victory are enemies. The voice definitely fits the, the face. Oh, what the heck? That was a jump scare. Analysis. Oh, they're killing each other. Consciousnesses are now in conflict with each other. That's weird. We are one, but we are different. So even though it's like all one they're being, it's... Like humans. So he just gets them talking about how he thinks that Mac trying to act like humans is dumb of them and whatever. So that's what they're doing. So yeah, so they wanted to keep A2 alive so they could create conflict for themselves to... For them to evolve further, that's kind of weird. It does make it seem like they started this whole Yorha android type of machine deal. Look at them not even hitting each other, it's gonna take all day. Wonder why the other one isn't getting hit if that one's meant to win or something. Maybe I should just help a little bit. Okay, it's invincible. This is so weird.
Oh great, you're back. Oh she. And you're back to full this health thing too. Seriously still kicking? Speculation. It is driven by remaining data located within enemy servers. So this just keeps going until I kill them all? Okay, that snake thing's got spikes on him, so I don't think I'll be able to attack. With normal attacks, I just gotta sit back and do this. Why is my laser not hitting him? going on about analysis it appears to be a leak of the enemy's past memories oh come on got so many different attacks how do I dodge them? okay another snake creature dead looking good a2 Oh crap, I can't die, I don't want to die. Oh wait, it took a health potion. I only have two medium recoveries left and I'll start getting into using all my larges. There's no need damage when I hit that, it's like I have to hit its middle eye. What, that still hit me? Okay, I'm about to die. I don't get out of that hits me when I think I jump over it. I'll Right now it's gonna disappear and go heal back to full again. Oh, 9s went right by A2. And he didn't even notice. So much, all these enemies have so much more health. Usually I could kill these guys in just like a quick little pass of the laser beam thing. But now they got infinite health. Okay, too many to dodge. Oh, A2, so they're like tag teaming it without even knowing? And it was too simple to just kill that one little group of enemies and then be able to finish the hack. Oh crap, how do I get past this? It's like the slow motion makes me invincible, do it. Look, I can go right through it. This is Osu, what do you mean? Keep switching back and forth faster and faster. I have a feeling soon they're gonna meet up and then have their fight to the death between 9S and A2. I don't know who I'll be rooting for.
Ah, das ist too cute. Holy damage. Oh crap. You guys are so tough. And the last enemy. Hopefully more don't appear. But I'm sure they will. Not even that high of a level, but they're so strong. Switch back already? That laser is powerful enough to destroy the dark purple. Okay, no, it's not. Those are light purple. That's what those machines were saying in the, the factory, the religious ones. got to be getting close to the end of this playthrough, don't you think? I've been playing for quite a while now. It was like so long ago when we first landed on the ground and met up with 2B to go try to help save those Yorha units like What's all this junk? Alpha and Theta. I'm still mad for letting those ones die. A resource of some kind. Used to make what? I'm not huge this place is. First time I'm playing through. I guess it depends how you look at it. I mean, it's my third playthrough now. <laughs> but my first time doing the third playthrough. So I haven't seen any of this yet. Thank you. Really good game. Just really hard on the third playthrough compared to the first two. Ah, 
<laughs> Good every machine seems to sprout a tail. Doing quite a bit of damage here. Oh crap. I hate how I can't turn to face him. Ends all count as one playthrough. Okay, so that's how people consider it. Why right, these things aren't attacking me? Okay, yeah, they're surrounding me. How do I do this? Pretty cool how the boss keeps going from 9S to, to A2, almost like 2B. I don't even know if I need to kill these guys. They don't seem to be attacking me. Yeah, it keeps re-growing faster than I can kill it. This part of the game was great. Did you play the game when it came out? Okay, this is getting tough. Especially when they can keep re-growing like that one that I killed and then more appear. I wonder if I just need to get the boss to low enough health and then I'll go back to 9S. Probably the best game you ever played. I'm really liking it, I just, I don't know how the first two innings were good and so far all that's happened in this third one is everyone getting killed. Just have all the happy endings first and then all the sad ones for the rest of the game. The pot is really not knowing where to aim. Okay, he's getting there at about a third health left. Oh crap, no, I can't get hit again. Dang it. I was hoping to avoid getting hit so my health regen thing would activate. What the heck is happening? Oh, back to 9S now? I wonder if it'd be like, why is the boss so low health now if it is the same one or A2 and 9S are each fighting a different one? Uh, because they're fighting their own. Yeah. 
crap. Can't be fighting into that. The thing where it makes enemy projectiles explode when you hit it could be pretty useful right here. Holy crap, 9S can go fast. Yeah, it looks like it still does damage even if I hit it in the back. Hopefully the tail thing doesn't shoot out. What do you mean? This is the best game of all time. Okay, that tail... Wait, did the tail just kill me in one shot? Oh, I guess... I don't do enough damage. I guess it is a boss enemy. Come on, so close to death. It's really switched back already. On boss reappear, I gotta kill you. I kinda wish killing these weird snake things would actually deal damage to the boss too. I guess they're not part of the same enemy. <laughs> Seriously, it keeps switching back too fast. Uh oh. Oh, she's not looking so happy. Are they like brothers? There's Roshi and then there's Koshi? brother machines that look identical and fight identical. I guess this one shoots out a lot less orb things. Oh come on, every time it switches it's got to do that zoom back in thing. Oh what the heck, these things are shooting now? I see you down there, quit hiding. Time for you to die, Roshi. Sorry to stand this way. Oh, right before I got hit, it switched back. That was perfect timing. Maybe they're gonna crash into each other. You never know, we could be heading in that direction. Right now we could be heading towards the nine. <laughs> Roshi's so near death. What if I when I kill Roshi his dead body flies and hits Koshi? Ah, Koshi's return.
This is so weird. Oh crap. I can't imagine playing on hard, get hit once and you're dead. I'm friendly, quit killing me. Ooh, something's happening. Come on, A2. Oh, what the heck? They will crash into each other, it looks like. It's gonna land on him. Oh, not quite. 9S, A2 is not your enemy. Oh, what? No! Koshi and Roshi. I just don't bother dodging enough, and sometimes when I do dodge, I still miss. For most of the projectile stuff, it's easy if you play carefully. Koshi and Roshi. I don't know why, but it looks kind of like, like when it first combined it looked like the eyes from those toxic lizard things in Dark Souls. Okay, yeah, how do I dodge this? Oh, seriously, I'm dead? No, I'm gonna have to replay the entire thing? Where's my last save point? Uh-oh. Well, it's a loading screen now to ask me if I want to load my save, so that could be a good sign. Okay, good. Ooh. I always switch back to pod number one whenever I die or switch characters, even though pod number two is the one I always use. Actually, you know what? Skills, plug-in chips. Equip. Which one don't I need? Taunt, I don't even know if I can taunt. What was the key to taunt again? Like, right trigger, right, I don't know. How to use, I don't think I need that for now, for the fight anyway. And then I want this one, bullet detonation. Hopefully that does something. Seems to shoot a lot of projectiles, I already did anyway, and then you just stopped right when I switched the chip. Look at those creepy hands. Funny how both of them being near death and they combine, they're suddenly back to the pool. Okay, Koshi Roshi, time for you to die. What was the Tan key? Type A, type B, type C. Okay. Action. Yeah, I don't know. What the? B mode. Oh, I can use B mode. I was wondering about that. Because it self-destructs for the other ones, but on her, I guess it's B mode. Yeah, I don't know how to taunt. <laughs> Seriously. Sometimes I wish I wouldn't auto use a potion. I may need to get rid of that one. Okay, let's try B mode. What? Limiter released. Berserk. So she, yeah, turning red does mean she's powering up. Okay, I'm dead already. <laughs> oh wait, B mode kills me when I use it? That just made me more prone to damage. Okay, well at least now I know what B mode is. What was the Tan key though? I can't even remember. Hold down light attack, really? Oh that was it. Thank you. I'm getting killed during my taunt. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> 